radio show. Tonight, uh, we got Bootleg 120 Corn Whiskey, which is also from Sugar Tit, like our last episode. That's not my name, but okay. And uh, and we got Keith Mang back on the show for like the fourth time? The third? Second? I don't, I don't know. know. I live here. I I kind of. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, this is, uh, this is just like the other shit that I had picked up in uh, South Carolina. Uh, once again, the Sugar Tit Distillery. Uh, which is in uh, yeah, there's the card right there. My man has a whole pamphlet. Yeah, and this this is the whole uh, this is the real deal. This is the real shit, and this is like their uh, their na- their uh, their specialty, I should say. Um, it looks like it's water. Uh, hint, it's not. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and I haven't had it since I was in there. Why well, they have a trap house on the on the brochure? <laughs> Holy fuck! Oh man! Okay, guys. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. That's America, that, right that's there. That's not a trap house. That's where they make it. That looks like a trap house. <laughs> it's a. It's a. Uh, oh boy! Hold up. Yeah, that's something, ain't it? That's a mixer right there. That's a. And we're just drinking it straight with. I'm gonna wait for this ice cube to melt a little yeah, more. Holy yeah. shit! Oh, I'm already drunk. It's over. I'm glad I ate like right before yeah, you got I, here. I, I, I ate. I had to eat. Fuck, man, that's that's bold. I'm gonna go ahead and chug it for the audience, you know, so they can. I'm not chugging this. Yeah, so b- being at 120 proof, essentially one shot is like having two shots. <laughs> so, oh lord, <laughs> oh, like this is it's like drinking paint thinner. Yeah, it gives you shivers all the way around. You can disinfect a wound with this shit. Oh God. <laughs> This is not a first time drinker drink, I'll tell you that much. No, this is a This is not even a late time drinker drink. This yeah. Is, this is a don't drink it. <laughs> Why are we doing this? Why did I buy that? This, also, this, this is this, oven cleaner. Yeah, and this, this was like 35, 40 bucks or some shit. Like it wasn't cheap and oh fuck, I'm really warm inside now. Uh, I'm sweaty. Hold up. I know. We, we were going to do something. I was thinking about doing something different uh, like a uh, like a beers tonight, but it's really fucking cold outside for texas yes and i was like i want something's gonna make me feel warm inside this is gonna make me feel dead inside yeah, this morning who opening up tomorrow at five o'clock in the morning that's gonna be fun <sighs> this is not what you put in your coffee uh, no. or i don't know or any kind of container yeah they distill it six times to smooth it out and this is their version of smooth <laughs> yeah like drinking nails 120 proof and don't get me wrong, I love me liquor. I'll drink whiskey straight all night. But yeah. Good God. This is impressive. I haven't had something that's this. Like, the, the the highest proof I've had prior to this was a Wild Turkey 101, which is yeah. like, it's like drinking, like, roofy materials. last time I saw that bottle. Ugh. That was a good night, wasn't it? Was that it? Wild Turkey night. Ugh. God. <laughs> that, yeah, that was rough. <laughs> this is, uh, this isn't much better. <laughs> I mean, I like it. Um, I mean, it tastes is good. Like we just focus on the taste factor. I'm like, okay, this is good. It's just yeah. everything else around that, the burning, the the taste doesn't leave. Let me get some water real quick. Hold up. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, let me just you keep on going. <laughs> oh my god. But at any rate, um, while while he's stepping out to go get a glass of that water, not fire water. Um, uh, I do have uh, some merch coming in actually. Uh, Whiskey Dan Radio Show stickers uh, will be available when they come in the mail sometime this week. And I will be selling them for one whole dollar, which is practically selling them at cost. So just uh, if you want one, send me an email or let me know, and I can get you one. And when I run out, I'll order more. Since I'm selling them at cost, it shouldn't be too hard to make the money back on them. It's it's like a three-inch by three-inch sticker of just a logo that you see here on the YouTube channel. Uh, the the nice square one that Elijah made for me, not the shittier one. It's it's the newer logo. Should be here sometime next week. If you want one, let me know and bring me one whole dollar. Like basically, you you can either get a McChicken or you can get this bitchin' ass sticker. And let's be honest, the sticker is not gonna give you the poopy squirts. Yeah, but that McChicken though, <laughs> it won't right off the bat. I, I, I've never I've never eaten a McChicken and then like wanted another one, no. but I've but I've eaten a McChicken and then ate another one right hold after up, that. Hold up, guys! I'm buying a sticker real quick. I don't have any cash on me. I got this change. So. <laughs> not even in yet, dude. I don't care. I'm putting my pre order because I'm gonna forget. Okay, pre order. Too drunk at the bar. Hell yeah! I got 
four whole quarters. Uh, you got that laundry money. Yeah, I got that laundry. I'm throwing that crown roll bag back there. <laughs> <laughs> the most dangerous zombie weapon. Uh, so, back to reality. Oh, God. Football is, is over. It's still here. How it's dare still you. here. It is it's still, still fucking here. We're talking about... Uh, not the NFL, but the XFL, which is the porno league. I'm kidding. It's, I was about to get it. You, you, you <laughs> uh, my joke. Damn it. Uh, it's, uh, I like it. Uh, we watched, because you and I watched one game, but we've seen all four of them, yeah. at least highlight-wise. Because I watched three of them. Yeah, watched. And a lot of people are like, well, I'm still like, I'm still like hung over from all the football season. Like, what, what, but it's more they, football. They, how do you get like, it's, it's football? more fun. It is good. It, it's oh, good. Yeah, like, yeah. for the most part, it's pretty good. It's better than college. Not as good as the NFL, though. Actually, I would uh, say, I mean. I would, entertainment factor, I say it's better than the NFL. Really? Just because everybody's cussing and they're trying. And like, there's been, like, three F-bombs in the past four games. You know, that's always nice to see. NFL, we don't get that. We don't yeah. get any of that good stuff. We don't. We don't get. Pat McAfee asking dumb questions. Like, all the interviewers are just asking the <laughs> dumbest questions. It's like, oh, you fumbled over there. What happened? And they're like, how do you have a response for that? Yeah, um, living close to Dallas that we like we do, uh, tickets are – as like you can get ones for, like, 38, but they're, like, in the back corner of an end zone. But you can get, like, decent, like, 50-yard tickets for, like, 60 bucks. Yeah, but it's like, it's like the back of a high school stadium. Though, yeah. So it's still – yeah, like you're still pretty if close. If it was an NFL game, you're looking at like a three hundred dollar ticket. Yeah, yeah, like for for that like distance from the field yeah. there. Yeah, so yeah, we're. I'm thinking about going because I'm already going to be in Denton at the end of this month, and then like the the game that they're playing against the Houston team, which is the one that I'm kind of pulling for, yeah. is on the first, and I'm like, well, shit, I'm already going to fucking be there. Like, what's sixty dollars? Well, one hundred twenty because I'm going to have to buy Ashley's ticket. It's the matter of convincing her to go to football. To go to football. Has she never been to a football game? I mean, she's Besides been... Besides out of band? And no, school. not really. Other, other than, like, school stuff, no. Um, I've only been to one NFL game, and it was in, like, 2002. Oh, so it didn't even matter, yeah. Yeah. Um, it was uh, it was the Dallas Cowboys, because we, we went to the, the Cowboys stadium when they had it in Irving. Before it got demolished. Before it got destroyed. Um, and they played the Buffalo Bills, and they beat them, like, 47-7. to 7. Yeah, I was like, ugh. What was that, Quincy Jones era? What was... I, it might have been. I mean, they destroyed the Bills. Ju- like the Bills only got it was like forty-seven to seven. I just remember like this being very bad. And now the Bills destroy us, like they oughta. Yeah, yeah, good team. Good they should have beat you on the Super Bowl. Anyway, that's a sad <laughs> point. <laughs> oh well. Wasn't that back to back they lost? Yeah. Yep. Well, uh, they lost back to back to the Cowboys, and then but they already lost two prior to that. To the Redskins and the Giants. Oh yeah, because they went on a four dead streak. Yeah, it was. A, they went four times and lost every time, oh. and they have not been back. That sucks. No, no. But XFL. Yes. Because that that's the here and now. Yes, yes. Uh, I'm really digging it. I like all the team uniforms except for the one out of Tampa that Bay. Lime green. Why is it lime with green? Forest green. Oh. Remember, like the Soda Vault. Oh yeah, that was an awful time. Yeah, like like imagine like that color scheme. That's the jersey, if you haven't seen it. You need to check that shit out if you want to vomit. <laughs> All the other ones look good. I really like the Roughnecks. I like the, I like the, the Renegades one. Yeah I, yeah, I like the jerseys. They still look like cheap high school level or like just like there's like there's certain about something about the design or material I'm not, not really liking with them. I mean, okay, that's fair, but aren't there like NFL teams that have shitty jerseys? Like the Packers? Like, hey, that looks hey. like a high school team. Yeah, but their classic jersey yeah, okay. it, it just yeah. makes it better. Like, I'm a diehard Giants fan, but it's just blue with white, and there's no stripes, there's no, no nothing. There's it's, no flavor. Yeah, it. I mean, yeah. The Cowboys jerseys also, they just look uninspired. Like, most NFL jerseys, like, the only reason why you're okay with them is just because they've been around for free. Yeah, yeah, they've been around. Okay, that, that makes sense. It so, makes sense. And, and since we got eight new jerseys all to look at, and they're all trying to, like, have their own unique look to logos them. Logos are badass, though, for this league. I huh? would say this. All the logos are badass. Yeah, I do like a lot of the logos, uh, for sure. Uh, St. Louis's is really cool. Yeah. The, like, sword with the wings on it. I, I think a battle hawk is actually a helicopter. Probably. Uh, Probably I don't know. Like and that. the Guardians one looks cool. Like the lightning bolts with yeah, DC that was, on it. That looks pretty cool. That was a good one. Um, it's better than the Reds. No, yeah, the, the, there's the Defenders and there's the New York Guardians. They have like a Sphinx head. Yeah. Like, that, that, that was pretty cool. It's it, like there's like an all black like LSU. It's like black and red because it still has like the shoulder stripes mm. on top. I like that one. I beat the shit out of the Tampa Bay team. I, I watched that game, the uh, Houston game, and then the Dallas game. Yes. Dallas. And then those are. Like I said, really affordable. 
a little more expensive than hockey. Um, yeah, but I mean, there's a lot more people you got to pay. Yeah, to yeah, like, like the, and which I'm fine with because, like, it honestly, it's like going to a, it's like going to like an AFL game in 1962, seeing like the Oilers and the Broncos play yeah, yeah. back when they like you know those teams weren't popular um, compared to like NFL games at the time. So yeah, I, I wouldn't. I'm a, and everybody was a vegetable in 20 years. Yeah, but, you know, that's fine. But yeah. <laughs> ah, they're fine. But yeah, I'm I'm excited about. Uh, I might go to a game this year. I don't know for sure. I want to, just to see how they how they do it live, how it feels live. Because I will say this: NFL games are kind of boring live. But since I'm an adult now, and I can drink. Everything's fun. If you yeah, but like if you go to like an NFL game, like twenty, kind of like eh. yeah, it's just like. Eh. See, like, a lot of people complain about, like, baseball being boring, um, which – this is what you got to do next time you go to a baseball game. Before you go to the game, you go down to your local tobacco store. You buy yourself a fat bag of Levi Garrett. And when yep. you get there, you just chew on that shit. It makes the game, like – because that's what half the players are doing anyway. Yep. It makes the game way more interesting. It gives your mind to occupy something when you're just trying to decipher, like, what kind of pitches he's going to throw. Mm. Dude, like baseball, I, I I'm so fucking tired of people saying like, oh the people your generation doesn't like baseball. Yeah, we fucking do. Like we we really do. I just got work in the morning. Yeah, I, a lot like a lot of us have like shitty work schedule. Granted, you play I me mean, baseballs on nearly every fucking day. Yes, like, um, too many games. But like, like once the season starts, there's not a day with that. Like except for the All Star break. Yeah, the like there's break. not a a day during the regular season where a team isn't playing. It's yep. very similar to hockey. Yeah, in that regard. And and the NBA, they do work. They do work in that dugout, but I mean, it, it, they have to travel yeah. so much. I can imagine doing that. Man, I'm excited for that new Ranger Stadium. Oh yeah, yeah. Tickets are gonna be they're a little bit more expensive, but I'm I'm still gonna go. Here. I'm gonna go to at least one. A little down out here once you know, you know the Rangers. You know, have another good losing, strong losing season. They do nothing <laughs> to fix it. And it'd be like twelve dollars ticket be $12. for like we'll right to, on the first baseline. Yeah, I'll be back to twelve dollars a ticket. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. And unless, yeah. unless the Houston Astro, Astros come through, then they bump up everything by four hundred percent. Yeah, like yeah, because uh, I mean they they're gonna play cause they play each other like seven, sixteen, or seventy times, so they're gonna play like eight games against the Astros. Yep. Because like when we went, we got to sit like right behind first base. Like we were still in the outfield, but it was like right there off the first base line, and it was like twenty four dollars a ticket, and we were probably like sixteen rows back, like just in the shade, yeah. but just close enough to where you could like still like. You could like see like the all, like all the facial features of the players stuff, and it was against the White Sox. So that's why it was so much cheaper. Yeah. But if they're playing like, uh, you know, the Yankees, any other divisional teams like the Athletics, yeah, the Astros, up. any teams that are good, they bump up. Yeah. Uh, they play the Red Sox, even though the Red Sox are fucking yeah. sucking now and are loving every second of it. That's fine with me. Fuck Boston. Oh my god! Like every sports th- team out of Boston, I fucking hate. I'm trying to think of anything that I like about Boston. Uh, I like that it's way over there. I like the Dropkick Murphys. Uh, <laughs> uh, I'm white. Yeah, but you also have to remember they're from Boston. So yeah, like, yeah. You know, but I, I mean, I like them. Uh, but one other thing I think is pretty interesting is like you know a lot of people are like, uh, oh, you know the you know the North is it racist? Have you been to Boston? Those are incredibly like like New York City. Motherfucker. Yeah, like, like 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 New York City, not racist because there's so many fucking groups of people there. Yeah, you, you're a moron if you're gonna believe like you're better than somebody else yeah, because like you're probably outnumbered. Yeah. Um, it doesn't matter if you get shot in the street; they're gonna walk past you just like anybody else yeah. in New York. And then uh, you go up to Boston, and it's just a bunch of fat white bros. Yeah, just that, Dude. just Dude. that. And they're all like, fuck, they all got Tom Brady and Rob Gronkowski jerseys. Just tattoos. Get, oh, yeah, yeah. Trashier. get the fuck out of here. Not that there's anything trashy about tattoos. Yeah. It's just trashy to have a sports tattoo. Like, what bothers me is that if you were born in, like, the mid-90s and, like, in the New England area, you don't know anything except for success out of your football team. Yeah, that's it. That's you know what it. I mean? That's it. Uh, like 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 a like a, a ten game winning season to them. Like if they go ten and six, it's a failure. Yeah, that means they're, they're, they think they're getting a good draft pick. Yeah, <laughs> it's garbage. I hate hate Boston. God, it's like drinking carb cleaner. Let me see. Let me see. This is what I imagine antifreeze tastes like. This is what they drank during the Civil War. Yeah, probably. <laughs> well, yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah. It's like, oh, gee, Lenny. Of- you got your arm there blown off. Uh, yeah, we, yeah, you gotta, yeah. Here you go. Take some of that. He's like, oh, shit. When this happened? Oh, God. So uh, so you think they're going to steal it from Sanders again? 
Um, <laughs> yeah, like uh, I thought everybody already knew this was going to happen. I'm surprised people are surprised by. I, I, I just love how like he was in the lead, with, like 24, 25 percent, and then like, oh, uh, we have to take the numbers down. There is Booty an Jack issue. Is in the lead. We're gonna. It's only we only counted 61 percent of the votes. We're just gonna call it here. Yeah, it's just like you Hopefully gotta. Hopefully, no one notices. You gotta be kidding me. But also, we hate the electoral college. You're like, okay, so you're doing the same thing. If you're gonna like, okay. I, and I'm always going to be in favor for the Electoral College um, simply because like and there's always a well, like, you know, there's more people who don't live in city. OK, yeah. OK, fine. I get that. Yes. But the thing is, like, you can just you can just hit the coastlines of the country and just you don't have to give a flying fuck about like Alabama, Nebraska, Colorado, I mean, you know, who does, you know, Texas. But like the thing is, like, like if, if you got Washington, Oregon, California and then the whole eastern seaboard. Then you'd win. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Yeah, you know what I mean. Or like, you know, if you got like the whole like tri-state area, you know, like New York, New Jersey, Pennsylvania, like that whole that's area. A strong spot. Yeah, like that whole area, the Rust Belt in like California and Oregon, you'd fucking win. Like that's yeah. just how it works. Because nobody lives in Mississippi, nobody lives in Tennessee. I mean, yeah, people do, but not like, comparatively speaking. And that's why I'm always going to be in favor of electoral college because it helps stifle mob rule. Because we're we're the United States of America, not the you know not the American Democratic Republic. Yes, you know what I mean. Because like the state has the vote, which you know people can argue this, that, and the other, and how it's bullshit this way. You know, like okay, well, fine, go fucking go find somewhere where it's fucking perfect, and you can go live there. You know what I mean? Well, we're gonna have our issues. The thing yeah. is, is that if we want to fix the issues, we vote, and we let them decide what issue that we want to fix. Yeah, <laughs> I just want weed to be legal, man. I mean, that's all. That's all we're hoping. Like, for. that's all I. I want all these, all, all my niggas to get out of jail for fucking weed crimes because they had two grams. But you know that officer's son had a party last week and there was so much cocaine, and no one gave a fuck. I know, yeah, yeah. I'm just stupid. I, I, I'm just not that I care. I don't even smoke like that or drive around with them. I'm not gonna ride dirty. No, the, the, the only time you should have it on your person is if you're either a smoking it or b just fucking bought it. Yes. Like, why would you leave it in your car? Like, granted, you know, like, what if I my mean, parents I, I find have out that smoke and drive, and I'm just like, no. You think I'm smoking in my own car? A hot yeah. box. It's not going to be my vehicle. I'll tell you that much. Well, we we have a mutual acquaintance, I guess. Um, he was recently in a uh, car accident. He's fine. I'll tell you about it later. But uh. He's recently in a car accident, and then... I remember who it was, because I saw that shit. Uh, he's a cook. Well, he's a chef. Hmm. He, he goes to open mic every once in a while. Chef, he's got, a, he's got a couple tattoos. He's got red hair. Uh, okay, anyway, uh, I'll tell you. Um, anyway, uh... Pretty cool dude. Um, and he was getting a ride home from a coworker, and then the coworker because like the dude was just trashed. The coworker, I, I don't I don't know the whole story, but he was like, There's no way I could fucking drive. Make make it a smart decision in that regard. Mm-hmm. But the guy who was driving decided to go fucking street racing in Tyler at like, you know, eleven o'clock at night. Of course the cop pulls him over. There was like a shitload of weed, some paraphernalia, and apparently he popped positive on a drug test. Yeah, it was a car wreck. Because he actually wrecked his fucking car. Uh, and that's how the cops got there. And like, what the hell? So they search his car. They find all this extra shit. Like, leave that shit at home, man. Yeah. Like, uh, because they, like they have to have a warrant to come into your house. Mm-hmm. And granted, they can get one in like 20 minutes, you know. But but the thing is, though, is that like... That's 20 minutes to flush everything. Yeah, to try to get it out. And the thing is, like, don't have so much shit on you to where you can't get rid of it in 20 minutes. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And that, that's just how I feel in that regard. Like, why? Like, if you have a house or an apartment... Why would you leave your fucking weed pipes and your bongs and like you know just out sitting? They leave they leave it out where it's just visible. I don't understand that. Well, like what sucks about uh, driving a pickup? It's a single cab. Like if I have like a bottle of whiskey and like I bring it over somewhere, then we drink half and I'm like I'm just gonna fucking leave it there. So like I put it behind the seat. Mm -hmm. Technically, that's breaking an open container law. Yes, but that's a weird law because if you're gonna you can't you're selling bottles of liquor. Like, you sell balls of liquor, there's going to be no way you're going to finish it unless you leave it at home. Yeah. Or you leave it at, you know, some yeah. party. Or well, and I guess they could just breathalyze me. Or what I could do is put it in my toolbox, which is what I've thought about doing, which I have done before when I yeah, had, like, three bottles. Yeah, up, and they're not going to yeah. get into that no matter because, what. Because, like, do. I didn't even drink that night. Um, 
but they had gave me a bottle mm-hmm. and I was like, and it was, and I was just like, you know what? I'm not going to fucking risk. I just put it in a toolbox. But, uh, but like in a car, you could just put it in the trunk. Yeah. Like if you have a sedan, just put it in the trunk. No because worries. that means they're going to know like, Hey, you weren't drinking that because yeah. it's in the trunk. Well, and if they see it, like when you just step out the car, do a breathalyzer test, you get zero, zero on mm-hmm. it. They're not going to fucking, yeah. you know what I mean? It's like, yeah, I left it in there. And, you know, if, if they're like, well, we're going to have you do this anyway. We're going to do a sobriety test on you. It's like, all right. Yeah, it's okay. Like, don't fucking, like, well, fuck you, man. You know, just let them fucking do it. Right. And if they get nothing on it, well, you, well now they just wasted their own time. Let them follow your protocol so you can get home without a bullet in your kneecap. hmm Granted, you know, I don't think that we should have, like, a, a bully police force that, like, usually what we find in the media. But they deal with fucking, like inbred meth head shit hooks all fucking day every day you're gonna be a little jaded you're gonna be on edge you know and like everybody and like as a police officer everybody's always lying to you yes you know what i mean so that's that's our job is to lie to police officers (laughs) it's like that's the job as as citizens to lie to our public service officers yeah but i think i've only had to call 911 once but anyway. Yeah, I don't, I don't fucking like calling that one. I'm calling someone, someone else to do it. I don't want that on my fucking, you know, I'm, I'm <laughs> calling the cops. Uh, I mean, I also have, I have little reason to call the police. But, um, God, Lee, this stuff is really harsh. I understand why you would. You have first aid kit. You have your own gun. And you have this. So, it's like, you can survive anything that pretty much happens here. Yeah. Just moonshine, take care of it. Pretty much. Yeah, the other day I was uh, showing uh, Michael my revolver. I was like, yeah, that, that's the highest capacity firearm that I own, all six rounds of it. And he was like, well, if you don't get them in six rounds, like, how many people are coming for you? And I was like, you have, an you issue. have a point. Like, you have, you have an issue. Yeah. I, I still want an AK, though. Oh, uh, yeah. I just I just fucking want an AK. I don't want, I mean, but then again, I still want, I'd rather have an AR, but. I'd rather have an AK just because maintenance is nothing. Because cause you can throw a handful of mud in it. Yeah, but why would you do that? I'm just saying, that's but like, the thing. like... That's what I understand about AK guys. It's like, yes, we know you can do that, but why would you do that? Yeah, yeah. well, it, it's like Jeep guys. It's like, okay, yeah, it's got four-wheel drive. I'm going to climb that mountain. No, you're not. No, Don't do no, that. You're, you're going to get no, yourself you're killed. No, you're not. Your warranty's out, and your car, your vehicle's... It's like, all you did grand. was put a lift and tires on it. Those are stock everything else. Yeah, yeah it's, it's only worth four grand. It drives like shit. It rides like shit, and you sold the doors. So... <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, and I don't know. Like, well, all, one of the reasons why I have an AK over an AR-15 is, one, uh, the rounds are a little bigger, so it's more stopping power. it does power. a whole lot of damage. Yeah, it, yeah. Uh, they're not near as accurate. No. Um, but uh, bullets are dirt fucking cheap. Mm. Like, dirt, like, like... 30 cents a round. Hey, you know how cool you look holding an AK up to the sky? Yeah. You know how it's like America's worst nightmare. Yeah. Brown dude holding up an AK to the sky. <laughs> <laughs> Oof. <laughs> but, like, the thing is, is that, uh, yeah, like, it's it's just so cheap to me. Like, AKs are like the Ford Rangers. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, they're everywhere. Mm-hmm. They're super cheap. Not hard to maintain. Not hard to maintain. If you got some duct tape, some glue, and a, yeah. uh, a coat hanger. Yeah. You can get it started. You can get it started. Well, honestly, I've a. I, I'd honestly really love to have an RPK, which is like just the yeah, bigger version yeah, of the AK. Yeah. I was I was one of those. As a kid. I had a buddy who had one for a while, and let me tell you, like that thing yeah, that's was a seven fu- six two version. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it was. It, I, I think it was like seven six two by something. I don't think it was thirty nine because the bullets were. I, I want to say were a little bigger. Don't quote me on that. Um, hey Jamie, pull it up. I don't have a Jamie. Uh, I have a me because this just the show actually put you know. I put more money in this show than any money that I, I don't get any money out of the show. Yeah, but it's fun. I know it's, it's so fun. It's, it's a good fucking time. Yeah, and everybody's like, "Oh, there's a podcast dude out here," and I'm like, "Yeah, it's a pretty good podcast." And like, here's the link. Blah 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 blah. Yeah, I have noticed I had a slight uh, bump in some viewership. So thank you for all the new viewers, um, and for all the new viewers who've listened to older episodes and even current episodes. When I say racist shit, I don't actually feel that way. So when please I stop telling it, me that I'm a Nazi. <laughs> when I I'm, say it, I feel that way. Okay. I'm the most racist motherfucker. <laughs> but I can say these things because I have black privilege. I'm getting spicy out here yeah. right now. See, I have white privilege, which is being able to stuff like, oh, thanks for the warning, officer, and hi, dad. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's white privilege. Actually, hi, dad. That's white privilege. No, uh... It, but yeah, like the thing is, like any time that I and I, I'm, I was telling some of the friends this the other day, I was like, anytime like I say something's like like really racist, mm. 
I'm using like that. I I am the joke myself because yeah, like I want you to it hear in a different context than yeah. most people say a racist joke. Yeah, because like like cause I want people to hear like how fucking stupid it sounds. Mm-hmm. Like when somebody that's you know, like, what humor is is taking light of something that's dark and a problem. Yeah, and comparing it to something that's you know just ridiculous. So you can see how ridiculous this situation actually is and how yeah. it just makes no sense to. It. I forgot. I forgot. Someone did that on. I forgot what show I was watching, but he was trying to explain why, like, it was some feminist thing. He was trying to explain why some some woman or feminist, it was probably, like, some BuzzFeed bullshit or whatever. Mm-hmm. And they're talking about, like, why does everybody assume men are funnier than women? And his response is, was, well, because they are. They didn't, didn't even know he gave a preference of, you know, because men are always busy. They're, they're raised to hide their emotion, blah, 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 blah. Yeah. So they can only bring it out with relating it to something of pain or, you know, some, some bullshit garbage. They're both being sensitive little pricks in my, in my opinion. <laughs> but he made was like the reason why I like the joke, um, like his definition, trying to explain humor to people is like, you know, the joke of, uh, why can't, it, what, how many police officers does it take to change a light bulb? And he's, he's like, it's like, you no, know, they just beat the dark room in submission. So. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. Um, yeah, that's, it's interesting though. Cause like, uh, so, I know the Oscars are on, and uh, I don't really give a fuck. <laughs> I didn't even know. Like, 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 uh, or like it was the Academy Awards, and I, I think we're at a point in our society to where enough people just have stopped giving a shit about it. Just the problem is that we still have those people that are diehard giving a shit. Yeah, I mean, uh, granted, people could say that about me and you about sports. Yeah, but if the NFL fell yes, you know, yesterday, I don't give a fuck. Yeah, I still got hockey. It just means the jersey prices are going to go up. Like, yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh God, yeah. Um, if if you want to buy football jerseys, fucking go on eBay. Yeah, yeah. And, and that goes for uh, always check eBay first. And that's for baseball, hockey, basketball, whatever. Don't buy a new jersey. Because like, if, if you're a Mavs fan, you get a Dirk Nowitzki jersey for like thirty bucks on eBay. I got a Tim Brown Raiders jersey uh, for seven dollars and fifty cents. Hell and, yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, so uh, the Raiders. Moving to Las Vegas. I'm really happy about that. Legion Stadium. It's looking pretty fucking dope. Yes. Yes. Oh, man. I have never been to Las Vegas. I want to go. And if I do go, I'm probably going to go to a Raiders game. Yeah, if, if I'm going to Vegas, I'm going to go see the Raiders. That's go just how Raiders. it's going to work. Uh, <laughs> like, that, like, that'd be half the reason why I'd go. Yeah. Like, like, I mean, fuck all. I mean, I'll gamble for one night, but that's just not me. I like keeping yeah. my money safe. And in, in well, see, like, like, but... like gambling is fun. I've been twice, and like, it was kind of fun. I just played on the slots. But if I go again, like, I'm gonna like wear the suit. I'm gonna oh, look I'm going, nice. I want to go all out. I'm gonna have a budget of a grand, and once I make a grand and a dollar, I'm done. Yeah, like that's me. I'm like, I'm ahead. And that's about it. Yeah, I will go sit at the bar and blow it. Yeah, or uh, when I want to play this roulette because like. I feel like you, you have a solid chance. Like, it takes a long time, but you I can make a decent roulette, amount of money. I want to trash with my friends. Because if we're all trash, it's going to be just a bun- bunch of dumb decisions. Mm-hmm. And we're only going to be losing money to each other. Or we get a... What we used to do, we would play poker, but we would just only play with change. So, like, so betting a quarter meant a lot. It was penny ante. And, like, yeah, there's, like, actually money. You could leave, with like, making 20 bucks. Or I would whatever. say, like, like, if you have, like, a group of six people... Hmm? You get a little close to the mic. Oh, if you have like a group of, there. you know, about, oh, there it is, there it is. But if you have a, a group of, you know, around six people, six of your homies, you know, a hundred ball, the hundred dollar bank, you know, that makes it, you yeah. know, everybody put pitches in, you know, $15 or something like that, you yeah. know. So that means, you know, the winner gets, you know, if you, some people can make some money, have a good time. Yeah. But no one gets mad and, you know, keys someone's car that night. Right. You know? Well, because it'd only be just the guys. Yeah. If you get a woman involved. Oh Jesus! Uh, That's where shit goes. Yeah, See, this is okay. That pussy good though. Uh, is it? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. It is. Yeah. yeah. See, um, I-, I love talking to to women who have like higher sex drives, and they're like, "Oh, like you know, like it's so like we women like to have sex too." You know, it's like yeah, but you understand like what it's like for like a guy, like a guy's sex drive, like it's not even like fathomable, and then like. She'll, like they'll always bring up how it's like, well, you don't have sex with me like right now. It's like, yeah, because I don't have sex like this very second. Doesn't mean I don't have like a higher sex drive. But like, like an hour ago, thirty minutes from now, you know, four yeah. hours from then, like, yeah, yeah I want to fuck. Well, and, and then and the thing is, is that like, when, I don't think women understand what it's like to like, you know, like see someone like and just like see like the way that like their like their forearms look or like the way that like her like you know her shoulders something. Like, you just like, oh, I just want to. You know, like, you know what I mean? I want to toss her across a room. Yeah. 
Yep. Yeah. I yeah. Know. Yeah. Just, just like, uh, like, like, I want her to put her turd cutter right on my face, and yes. I want to take as deep of a breath as I possibly can. Women don't have that level of like. I don't know, and they did. That's scary. Yeah, like because that sounds like an animal. Wow, we sound like animals. I know. Well, see, <laughs> well, the thing is, like, if those women exist, uh, please um, come here. I I want to talk to you. P.O. Box. <laughs> <laughs> I will take you out to a nice dinner. <laughs> God, don't you hate it when you see women and just like dating a fucking shit bag and you're just like, dude, like you could do so much better. Like let like like you almost like want to take them out on a date just to show them that like, like what the real something. world is like, what yeah. appreciation and it's like, is hey, like. Hey, not everyone's a fucking shithead. You don't have to be with him. I'm not gonna and, and, I, and, and I'm not even trying to fuck. I'm just trying to be a decent yeah. human being. I just want to show you an actual good time. You shut up over there. You watch you get these goddamn birds. I like the birds. They're fun. Kinda. Well, Pavardi is really fun. Beans, a fucking dick. It's quite a bit more tolerable now that the ice is melted. Yeah, it's actually it's like okay, yeah. This is it does thing. need to be cut down with something. Uh, but here at the Whiskey Dan Radio Show, we drink our shit straight, and I can feel my forearm tingling. <laughs> my balls have retreated back into my body drinking this shit. It's just like. I don't know. This shit. Ooh. Oh, I mean, good. but once that ice melted, I mean, like, it's okay, good. Yeah, it's a I drink. Mean, like, I it's like tasty. It. It's tasty. The, like, I always hated it. Like, or maybe that's the alcohol kicking in, but either way. Maybe so. But, like, uh, I always liked how they, uh, you know, when you're like younger, like, oh, this puts some hair on your chest. You know, like, I have enough. Like, I, I will donate it to, like, people who don't. <laughs> donate it to cancer patients or something. Something. I don't know. It's Is just, that fucked up? Does it matter? It? Wait, no, it matters. This show, it doesn't yeah. matter. Get it's this show. It didn't matter. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Fuck y'all. Fuck your sensitivity. Get over yourself. <laughs> See, that's what this world needs. Uh, people with, like, thicker skin. Yeah. Like, overall, like, quit. Like, y'all just mad because y'all don't know yourself. Dude, if I could Someone... just flip a fucking switch and just, like, get, just like delete Twitter. And just, like, yeah. make Twitter just fucking gone. Like, Replace I would do it, it in a heartbeat. 4chan... No, j- just no, get no, rid no. of it. Yeah, just, just get, get rid, rid of it. it. Like you don't, we don't even need social media platforms. Like, granted, technically speaking, YouTube you could argue is a social media platform, and um, it is a platform that I put this show on, which I'm thankful for. That I get to have this heard. It's a lot easier than handing out cassette tapes. Um, but the thing is, though, is that like it's so, like it's everybody feels like their opinion it's matters. Disgusting. Yeah, it's like because like like, like, like Facebook used to be like that, but now it's turned into like. Uh, now Facebook is more like a highlight reel and like, hey, people sharing funny shit or, yeah. or laughing about stuff. You, you rarely do you see Facebook drama anymore, like unless it's involving high school kids. Yeah, high school kids are like the older crowd. But yeah. Like for us, for us, we're just like, yeah, yeah that's fucking stupid, and we move on. Yeah. Well, and also we know that everybody's always watching what you do, what you put on Facebook. So yeah. like, I just always put yeah, like, because we're at a weird middle ground. Like, okay, well, grandma's gonna see that. Um, yeah. Or like my future employer's gonna yeah, see. Yeah, my future employer. And they're like, why is there a picture of your old manager's ass on your Facebook? And I'm like, well, he's the one who posted it. I just shared it. <laughs> I just thought it was funny. I thought it sorry was funny. for having a sense of humor. Yeah, I'm sorry, yeah. But at any rate, uh, you have like, fuck Twitter, man. It's fuck disgusting. Sensitivity. And then the thing is, like, like Twitter, um, they, they they fucking ban free speech. You can't say what you want to say on there. You know what I mean? Because like, like, if you well, say if something, it's not politically correct. Yeah. You gotta. You no, know, I don't want to sound like. But like uh, you Uncle know, the, Tom here, but. I believe that people that get offended by other people's words are people that don't know themselves. Yeah. That's why they get they get all upset is because they don't have a definition for who they are. And when someone wants to give them a definition for who they are, they get upset. I'm like, well, if you need yourself, like if someone can call me the most outlandish shit ever, I'm looking across the room at someone who's called me some outlandish crazy things. Hey. But guess what? I was like, might be right. You know. <laughs> <laughs> might be honest. Yeah, he might be honest. Well, like, uh, what I hate is how Twitter will like allow like super like left like SJW shit talk about like how uh, say some awful things too. Yeah, They'll yeah. Let them yeah, just and, fucking slide. Yeah, yeah, and, yeah, and that's perfectly fine. But if you know somebody goes and they're like, hey, hey, niggers aren't people. Like, bam, <laughs> bam, gone. just like yeah, gone. all your shit's deleted. You right. know, like granted, that's a stupid that, thing uh, to subscribe that, by. That's, but that's, that's a, but the thing is, like, no, you should let those voices out. Let those voices out so you can see how ridiculous people yeah. are. Well, see, and the problem is, is like, uh, like 4chan is the is like the wild fucking west. Yeah, but that's and, just a bunch of people with the same ideas. Yeah. Well, I yeah. mean, there, there's there's like three different types of ideas. Uh, the the three types of people that are on 4chan is like Antifa. super. Yeah, yeah, is Antifa, and then like the opposite of Antifa, and then people who just really love porn. 
Yeah, yeah. Like, there's so good. much fucking, like, porn. There's so much porn. On 4chan. There's, there's, all, there's more weird porn on 4chan yeah. than anything. Oh, and, like, Reddit's just, it's nothing but fucking porn. Like, midget trap porn. Yeah. Like, didn't even know what the fuck that I'm was. so tired of porn, man. Like, I'm, I, I wish I could just, like, I would be perfectly okay if I just never watch porn for the rest of my life. <laughs> Until tomorrow morning, but yes. Now I've been on a pretty good streak and not watching I'm trying to remember the last time I watched porn. I've just been too busy. Hmm. It's just, I don't know. Well, and then the thing people is... People who pay for porn. That's stupid. Well, like, I, I well, I I think that people should pay for porn. Yeah, they do need, you know, you need to support your... Yeah, your, your well, the, the problem is, like, the way it's set up, it's, it's like, uh, oh, you gotta spin, like, like, I just want, like, these couple girls... I don't need your whole fucking channel, Mm-mm. you know, with gangbang trap porn. Like, yeah, I don't want that I don't, shit. I don't want all that, you know that I mean? wild shit. Let's just keep it vanilla with a little bit of, you know, salt and pepper on yeah. it occasionally. But that's about it. But, but, like, maybe a squirting video or two. Yeah, I don't want, I don't want this girl in this trashy-ass public restroom with oh, a whole God. bunch of dicks coming out the wall. Dude, who I, gets off to that? I don't know, but, I mean... She needs to be paid. We need to pay her. Yeah. She, she needs, needs a her. hug from her dad. That's what she needs. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Like, it's terrible. If that was an option, she wouldn't have been doing it. That's a fair point. That's fucked up. Okay. Here. Everybody talks about male privilege, right? Well, men don't have the privilege of just prostituting themselves out. I want to be a cam dude so bad. Yeah, like, I don't so fucking bad. Day. Like, I, I, I could be like a... I don't have to pay taxes. I want to be a thick gamer boy. <laughs> thick gamer boy. You know what I mean? I'd fucking love for that shit. Like, like the, the, this is the only, like the the outlets that men, like men can try to make it big in sports. Probably aren't gonna happen. Uh, but granted, you know. But if you got a set of tits, yeah. Like if you got a set of tits, don't, if you just want to finger bang yourself on camera, guess what? You can make some money. Well, as like a it, if it, if you have like a big set of tits and you're like a nice person, you don't even have to buy drinks at a bar. No, you, no, you don't. Do you know how hard it is for a man to get a to get a drink bought for him, I have to wear like I, my sweatpants, no underwear, just to get drinks bought for me. I've been going to bars for. You know th- how dirty I feel. I know <laughs> it's disgusting. <laughs> like, but like, I, I've been going to bars for like three years now, and I've gotten a free drink like twice that wasn't because of a family member, or that like, wasn't because they just popped over some popped open the you know, wrong thing. I mean, I get free drinks all the time just being yeah. a musician and everything, but that's a little different. Yeah, yeah like, but like, as just like a like, if you're not playing a show, yeah. you're just like hanging out at the bar with some friends, and then like one goes like. Hey man, like, like I like that shirt. The fuck, are you drinking? Like, oh, uh, give me like a Lone Star. Like, you know, yeah, cool. You yeah. know what I mean? Like, as a chick, you know, it's like, oh, what are you drinking? And like, I'm drinking a Long Island iced tea. It's like that's way more expensive than what I wanted to pay for. <laughs> you want some? Want some little extra in that drink? Mm. Bring you home. Want some extra drink? Yeah, let's go ahead. Let me go ahead. Oh, shit, this is gonna be awful. I don't know how I'm going to work in the morning. You're not. No, I have to. I, I forgot to give uh, the person I'm training to open, even though he knows how to open now, the key. Oh. Because I tell him, like, yeah, I show up a little bit late just because I know how to open. See, the thing is, is that from what I heard, and don't fact check me on this, I don't take it as a gospel truth, but apparently alcohol can kill the coronavirus, so we're just building an immunity. I, I heard something about yeah. that, too. So, I'm, I mean... Like, I, I need an excuse to drink. But even then, even if it, even, yeah, even, <laughs> like, I need an excuse. But, like, even if it didn't, like, I don't care. It's the, it's the virus isn't that big of a deal. I don't know why it's blowing up. Like, more people still die from the flu this year. Than, yeah, just like regular flu. We don't, we don't go on this flu binge craze every year. One thing that I've noticed is that uh, it does affect adults a lot more than it does kids. Yeah, i so like, that. So, it's like, once thing. you're, like, 23, you can go fuck Put yourself. Put that life expectancy down because, shit, these got too many fu- We got too many fucking people. We got too many people that don't work. Don't work. Ugh. Don't Gross. Don't fucking work. They think that just because they're wearing this Vietnam hat, they ain't got to work. <laughs> Whoa. That's fucked up. That's what? Fuck, fuck <laughs> our vets. <laughs> this is like Bold no. R.I. Kaepernick. <laughs> <laughs> that was completely that's not what he was talking about I know I know but I love how people are like the vets they want he to play. hates America it's like he was talking about police brutality he was raised by white people though alright you got me there you got me it's just stupid I love how like, like fucking white people uh, he's, he's, he's just playing the XFL just just fucking just playing the XFL he would destroy the X. He's but, but he won't do his ego's too big ego's not is he well I mean 
don't give a fuck. He needs to put himself out there. That's not know. Well, like, yeah, if, if, he, if his best shot, his best chance at get, about playing in the NFL again is to be in the XFL and score like five touchdowns the Cowboys game. sign him over Tom Brady. I don't know how a lot of Cowboys fans would feel about that. I don't know how a lot of them feel about Tom fucking Brady. I don't know either. Because I'm not going to be a fan if we get Tom Brady. Like, as a Giants fan. <laughs> as a Giants fan, there's only one man that can stop him. Yeah. And he's gone now. Yeah, he's about damn time. I'm tearing up thinking about it. Anyway, <laughs> uh, but we got Jason Garrett. We're going to clap our way to the Super Bowl, God damn it! If he wins the Super Bowl next year, you what, know how uh, funny that no, shit no, okay, will no, be. No, not even like next year, but like, like, if like three years. In three years. Like the Giants win another Super Bowl. Like the Cowboys still haven't won still with having, like two playoff still games. Still going eight and eight every season. Yeah. And like they won a Super Bowl like with Jason Garrett. Like Jerry Jones is going to just like shit a brick. Jerry Jones needs to die. <laughs> Can I say Ooh. that? Can I say that? you're fucking up? You have fucked up my whole childhood, Jerry Jones. I was born in '97. You know what happened after that? Absolutely nothing because of your ass. I, had, I have three playoff victories, three in my life. I lifetime. have two Super Bowl wins you in my life. Fuck lifetime. off, you suck. I have two, it's so good. I was in the sixth grade and then in the tenth grade. Oh, it was awesome. Fucking trash. Fuck the Cowboys, man. Why am I a team of such garbage? Like, uh, I love the Giants. I like the Raiders a lot, too. But I do like the Jerry Dome, you know, playing high school, you know, in high school, you know, the high school games there when I was a kid and whatever. Yeah. It was a fun time. You get to see yourself on a big screen, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, I'm a... Then you realize, oh, shit, this bus ride, we got to go down 635 to get fucking home. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be many room, just like a trail of buses, yes. Dude, do you ever just like you're like kind of just been bored and just like looking up like flight tickets? Yes. To just get the fuck out. Just like how much is it gonna cost me just to get the fuck out? I just I just like always I've always done it, but I'm never gonna do it because I'm like I'm not that kind of person. Like if I can't do you're it, you're just not a woman. Oh, oh, oh. I mean, we're just fucking Ooh, we are, ranking we just, it up. We just edging. ladies, ladies. Hey, we are. I love you. Don't think that I don't. I, I do. don't. I don't. You're a fucking ruin my life. All right. Well. I'm going gay now. I'm coming out right now, right here. <laughs> I like dick. Okay, I want this is, the this world. This is for fellas me. only, just like <laughs> Grinder. Yep. It's for the boys. You, y'all think Saturday's for the boys? It is. That's when I do them. Yeah. Like gay only on days that end in Y. <laughs> but, but like uh, flight tickets. I keep looking up Spokane, Washington, and if I'm going to relocate. Sp- Okay, it's it's East Washington, so it's like it's not the rainy part; it's the dry part of the state. Uh, like East Washington. Okay, so it's towards the Rockies. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, close to the Rockies rather than the coast. It's over uh, the first hump of the Rockies. Yeah, pretty much. It's it's like right up there by Idaho, like the the Panhandle yeah. Idaho. Um, it's got a pretty good sized population. You actually get all four seasons. Like you get snow there a lot. Um, weed is legal, and the cost of living and average salaries are comparable to here. I will say this about the Pacific Northwest, most beautiful place in the country. Oh, absolutely! The and see, the cool thing, like like all like the really cool shit, is like a three four hour drive from Spokane, and you know you could live for super cheap, and then you could vacation in Seattle, where it's like crazy expensive to live, mm-hmm. but it's super cool to visit. So many homeless you go people. To Seahawks you, games, you can get heroin, a lot of heroin. Just like Man, Alice in Chains is a good band. Yeah, you got you got you got to love those blue states like that. Yeah, you got to love those blue states. And you're just gonna live in that pocket of red because. I don't know what it is about, you know, it's affordable there. So I love Texas. It's like, true. Our e- even like Dallas out. is like, Dallas is expensive, but it ain't, it like, ain't, it ain't it that ain't, bad. Yeah. I can still live in Dallas by myself yeah. in, my, in my current way. Like, like, like this apartment, like th- this size apartment with the amenities we have here, this is probably about 900. Nine, I was going to say a thousand. 900, a thousand. Yeah. Right, I'm paying 650. But, uh, but, it, but you know, but I think like you're the, living in the city, this is what you expect to live yeah. in as a young adult in the city. But like this in San Francisco, we're talking like twenty six hundred dollars. Talking, you talking uh, in Texas, a five bedroom house. Yeah, <laughs> Jesus <laughs> like, Christ. Talking yeah, it's, about three car it's, garage. It's, like, and what sucks is that, like a lot of people that are living in California want to get out, but they can't because they don't have any money to save because they can't save any money because you're paying taxes for water. Yeah. I mean, true, our water system here is freaking fucking garbage. Like, I, I people, there's so many people I've met that actually fucking drink tap water. And like, you don't have stacks and stacks of bottled water in your house in Tyler. Like, I, I don't, I don't drink the tap water here. I mean, well, I, you have a filter. Yeah, like, I got. A filter. I, I have a filter at my house if I'm going to drink. Good God, I highly recommend. You, you got to get a filter. Like, like our it, water it, is dirty. Like, I cleaned out our water heater at um at um Jimmy's Egg the mm-hmm. other day, 
and we ha- we have this little filter on it. You know, water's supposed to come in clear. This thing is full of just mud that just stinks shit. like ass. Yeah, it smells I'm just, like I'm the just bottom of a lake. I'm in there with a teaspoon, just pulling out shit. Just I'm just like, people drink tap water out here. And it's just like no. all the time. You gotta understand, this is this is a Republican, you know, state. They don't give a fuck about this. Yeah, public utilities, area. fuck them. You know, fuck them. Fuck, fuck them. infrastructure. I mean, yeah. the infrastructure. We're gonna build roads, but the shit under it, it's been there since 1923. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we don't need to boot. We don't need to redo that shit. We, but you we know, got the Ninja Turtles living down there. We don't pretty much. Fuck. But uh, a little bit like outside of Tyler, like it, like or if you live in um, houses, you know, like in a rural area outside around here, like the water is usually pretty good. Like yeah. um, my parents is also the water in their tap is like fifty eight degrees, cold as shit, Hell stupid cold. Yeah. Like I, like I didn't start putting ice in my water until like I moved to Tyler, because like the water here you is like it's like seventy bitch. degree water. I will say this, like, the best water I had as a kid was in Rowlett. I don't know. I mean, true, it's a richer town. Yeah, but, it's white people. <laughs> I mean, that water probably was still technically disgusting, but that water tasted good. That was some good. It was that fridge water, you Ooh. know, because my grandparents, you know, they had that money, so they had the water with the fridge and the crush ice. I was a kid kicking fridge under the, yeah. you know. See, the, the th- thing about Rowlett and Rockwall, it's like uh, everything closes at 8. <laughs> That's that whole east side of Dallas right Granted, there. Granted, you could just take the dart to deep ellum and get fucking trashed for not that expensive and ride a scooter around and... that's what i love about deep ellum uh is that it's like smack dab downtown but it's not downtown expensive it, it's not like what's at the east end or something in dallas like that other part of downtown that's like because they do crazy not pay expensive. for musicians i haven't been out to a single spot to where they'll pay for a show i mean i played shows there where i brought out 20 fucking people yeah and that those 20 people racked up probably a good you know grand on a bar oh really and they didn't pay and for I shit i got paid 40 bucks Jesus. an hour and a half are you fucking kidding me like you fuck off man well the cool thing about deep ellum like like uh um, but dope ass spot yeah well the, the, i guess the thing about like deep ellum is that like uh you're trying to get a show at like the bomb factory like that's hard Bomb you, factory is a big building. Yeah, like 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 That's bomb funny. factory, like Southside Ballroom, like the loft, like those bars gas are competing monkey. against that. Yeah, yeah gas monkey. Like that's where you want to get the show at. Yeah. So you know, and then, and probably honestly, the probably the reason I don't pay all that much is because if they did pay any more, they'd have fucking musicians coming up their ass all the damn time trying to get a show. Yeah, at you the do bar. have UNT people, you know, so you just got a bunch of you know really good musicians with yeah. no ideas. I said it. I said it. I'm still, I still love y'all. You and see y'all put out some bangers. See, like the thing is, is that uh, bands need one guy who's like the idea guy. They or the need flip. everybody else who just wants to rock. Yeah, who just wants to add the flavor in. Yeah, yeah. he wants to be the side of potatoes and yeah. green beans. That's, that's it. All the black pepper. Mm. But, <laughs> but yeah, uh, and I'm really, I'm really liking the way that our. Our band is human. Your band but, is yes. fantastic. Yeah, by the way, Whiskey Dan is in a band, and we are called Lenny and the D, and we are available for booking uh, pretty much as soon as possible. Band 7 out of 10, name 3 out of 10. I like Good it. Good group. I like it. I compared to most groups I have to play with. It is top tier. Yeah, yeah, we're yeah we're just a three man band. We play a lot of uh, '90s alternative covers, and we got a couple originals. Um, also, if you want to have us book a show, it's th- only three hundred dollars. That's what, like half a rent. We'll play for like four hours for three hundred bucks. Like, that's twenty five dollars an hour. Yeah, I'm like, I'll pay for. I'll pay for. Yeah, I'll play hundred dollars a head, four hours. Yeah, I've done it before. Doing it. No, never mind. I don't, like, do, that. It's I don't actually, do that anymore, but that's where I started. Yeah. But like, it's actually like in our contract, we won't play a show for less than three hundred bucks. Yeah, it's so like, that's what you're supposed to do. Yeah, like, three. When I made the most money was in a three piece. Yeah. Because you can you can you can charge the same amount as that five piece band that came in there, but yeah. it's only three of you motherfuckers. So um we get we, we, uh, one more segment and, and we might have talked to this before. Uh, oh god. So clicks close down. Rip clicks. Uh, Rip. I loved it as a hangout spot. Apparently it wasn't the best for a lot of musicians because you got paid like door charge. No, it was pretty good. It was still pretty good. It was pretty good. So, if you were a profound name in the sound, yeah. you, you made money. So, have you played a show at True Vine? Because I know yes. you got that big stage out there. Yes, I've played a couple. Would you rather play at True Vine or play at XLN? XLN get lit. Yeah. True Vine got, you still got a bunch of fucking kids running around and they close yeah. at 10. 
Oh, okay, yeah. So that's not a show. Because, like, yeah, cause it, a... it's more like a brew. Because it's like, yeah, Excel will stay up until 1. Yeah, but on we'll... Saturday, on uh, Fridays, it's closed at midnight. Excel and I will play the last set, and I don't remember that shit, and I just wake up at home. <laughs> like, True Vaughn, you're like, yeah, I guess we can go out. Like, every time we end the True Vaughn show, we're like, what bar are we going to next? Yeah. Because you don't get drunk at True Vaughn. Oh, I mean, you can. I've done it. No, you most definitely can. Yeah, because like, uh, you can get like but a 6.4% alcohol. Like when you're alcohol playing those shows thing. there at that brewery, like you don't have the time to. Sound there is really good now. The last time I went, I don't think the, the sound guy showed up, so I had to run sound through their system. Oh, okay. The fucked up thing about it, I don't get paid. To do that. To do that. I didn't get paid to set up their fucking equipment. Don't get me wrong. I love y'all, True Vine. I'll do it again. Call me. But, <laughs> but make sure you're fucking sound, guys. But right? I didn't show up with nearly the mindset to do that. I just got off of work. I'm tired, beat to hell. And now I'm, you know, loading subs and speaker equipment and stands and all this stuff. Wiring, right. running all these cables. When I have to play in 15 minutes. Yeah. Fuck that. Because no one told uh, us that we didn't have a sound guy. Yeah. Because, uh, since we're such like a newer band that we don't have any monitors yet, what we're going to try to do is piggyback off of people who do have monitors. That's the best way to do such it. Such as like uh, Tall, Dark, and Handsome, because you all have all the equipment. Or Love to have you. So, in like, we'd be more than happy to open. Cause we Love can, to have you with, you know, the Matt Coast band, too. Yeah. We're, we're trying not to be a blues group, cause so many... Because, like, it's... Well, you don't have to be a blues yeah. group. Yeah, like, well, the thing is, like, because blues music is so fucking fun to play. It's so fun. Like, as a musician, they're fun to play. There's nothing wrong. You can't yeah. you can't beat the, the 145 formula. Yeah, you, you can't, can't you can't beat it. Like, like yeah, America, like, USA. Except for country out here, because that's what my, the Matt Coast Band is trying to go for, trying to open up for country artists. Oh, really? Because it just makes the most money, and we have the same demographic for fans yeah. for that kind of thing. Yeah. Except we're just, you know, the... A little bit trashier, a little bit freer yeah. kind of version. I'm, I'm hoping that we can get a set at XLN with somebody else in the near future, um, Saturday night. Because I, because uh, I mean, like I, I'm more in the band to to have fun. But if I can make money doing it, no, you're gonna make some that'd money. That'd be in this tits. Hopefully, we can get something. I mean, out. Mike's already trying to book you, so he's probably just gonna do a double header with you and someone else. You yeah. probably you might you might be like the headliner if some acoustic artist uh, wants to. Yeah, I, I love how we played like one 20 minute set, and he was like. Y'all were pretty tight. It's because y'all gonna shit, come back. <laughs> it's like it's because like the shit that we get out here is like people don't understand. Like we have Tyler is a great music town. It's the best town. It's it is literally mini Austin musicality wise. It's mini Deep Ellum, mini Denton. Mm. You know, it's 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 not the same. The only problem is it's the, it's the quality. All we have is these acoustic artists who think they're fucking hot shit. Yeah, like playing the same covers as the dude the night before. Yeah. Well, like in the front, like like there's a lot of good artists, but there's not a lot of bands. There's not a good. There's not a lot of musicians. There's a lot of good artists. Yeah. There's not anybody who's just gonna you know do something you've never heard before. They're just people out here are fine being background. Yeah. And these most of these cruises artists think they're badass because oh like you made a thousand dollars at clicks. I'm like, well, you're playing by yourself at clicks on the weekend. Yeah, on like a Friday night. You're by yourself. Of course, you're making a thousand dollars. Like when I play clicks, you know, on my big nights when it's busy. I make two hundred dollars, but guess what? I'm with seven under other people on the yeah. stage with me. That's why I've that, only made where we bucks. rehearsed. You know, we've rehearsed. You know, five hundred hours beforehand. You know, we're reading music and stuff, and you show up with the guitar tab app, and you just root off whatever people call off because <laughs> and you just move your capo around. Like, yeah. no, I can't do that. I'm playing this Earth, Wind, and Fire cover, yeah. which is not easy. In this different arrangement. Just because we don't have the horn section, so our keyboard player is playing with his double stack and rolling his Hammond out, and all this load in and load out, and we're doing that for two hundred dollars. But you think you're hot shit because you made yeah. a grand there, and you can I play guitar better than you, and I don't even fucking play the guitar. Yeah, but oh, I guess well. that's why I should just be an acoustic artist. I guess that's I have noticed is. that up at Yamato lately. Uh, it's it's just like a guy with a guitar, and another guy with a guitar, and another guy. It's like. Do we, you know, then, like, I feel is bad anybody, for you. Anybody doesn't want to, like, make a different voice? Yeah. like. Well, like, it, it, I feel bad for you because you're, like, you're, like the bass player up there. So, like, hey, man, uh, can you come no sit in no one wants to hear just a guy to get to yeah. We're done with that shit. Yeah, because there's another guy. I'll tell you after the show. We're not, I'm done with the Miranda Lambert shit. Yeah, like, because yeah. there's another guy up there. And I, I've I almost, went up, I didn't get the chance to because I want to talk to somebody else. Um, I need to go up to him, like, hey, man, like, do you want somebody to, like, I can meet up with you once a week, twice a month Talking or about, something. Uh, Ruben? No, 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 a different guy. Uh not Jaco. No, no, no. Uh, and uh, he, he always plays. A, he always plays acoustic. And I'm like, dude, like, maybe great if you had like a, 
Because, like, I don't know a whole lot of drummers other than our drummer and then Mike. Uh, and they're both really busy, you know, with all what they got. So I am hoping that. There's a lot of drummers out here. It's hard to find a good one. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. absolutely. Because, because, like, so many drummers, like, I'm. I love our drummer. Uh, he's he, he knows good. he knows how to stay at home. Yeah, yeah. He doesn't throw in a bunch of extra shit, and he's he's okay with constructive criticism, likewise with I am. There's a couple drop beats in there, but I mean for new. He, he hadn't played in front of a group in six years. Yeah, so it's like those drop beats. I'm like, I don't, I don't, I didn't care about that yeah. because just the, the flavor that he was giving towards yeah. the ensemble was like, okay, that's Sounds exactly good. what I want yeah. on this song. Yeah. Um, I I I know I need to work on stage presence and other stuff like so you're that. You're a bass player. You don't have to work on shit except chops, chops, yeah. chops. Because something. like the thing is like because uh, like uh, th- there's like two songs that we do where I'm so like ripping on it. And you just make that stank That's face. That's All you gotta do you is just, if you have the face, you're a bass player. Yeah. That's all you need on stage. Like me, you see me, I just rolling with all this fucking equipment right. and I'm fucking ripping and shredding. And all I do is make yeah. the fucking I, I, face. I didn't bring my wah pedal. I need to bring my wah pedal next bring, time. Oh, dude, that's so much fun. Like on a bass. People don't expect it. Yeah, people it's fucking love that shit. They so fucking fun. eat that shit up. It's so fucking fun. garbage because I'll play a more complicated solo, more tasteful solo. But if I throw some fuzz and a wall on it, they're like, oh, that's, man, you you sound just like Jimmy Ray Steven. And I. I Fuck. <laughs> 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 oh, uh, shit. And all you can say is just thank you because they're drunk as hell. And you're just like, that was literally a, a fucking literally no for note the Dizzy Gillespie solo, <laughs> like from Manteca. But all right, thank yeah. you. One, one thing that I don't get uh, with like a lot of these like more local uh, uh, musicians and artists is like they don't know how to talk to people. Yeah, one thing I don't talk to people, yeah. they, they don't know how to dress. Like like, can we fucking address that? Like, yes. what is it with musicians and not knowing? Like, no, no, pants first. Pants then first. Then you put a shirt on, yeah. and then you button the shirt. Yeah, yeah. Like, gotta... like, come on, man. I mean, and this comes from a guy who like wears a kilt and a like, Confederate kepi. Like, I, I dress differently <laughs> for each band that I play with. Like, we talk about getting handsome. I dress professionally classic i dress you know pretty much but, but yeah like when y'all do like an I, I dress, actual I dress, show i dress dress you know work professional but with some colors on it because we're a colorful you know kind of group i know i wear like a plaid you know nice button yeah. down you know roll up sleeves nice hat you know slacks and you know some nice dress shoes occasionally i rock some suspenders with it or whatever matt coast band i'll try to do something like that except a little bit you know more denim more denim a little yeah. bit you know added denim in there or something simon i don't have anything that kind of relates to that group in my wardrobe at, at you know aspects i just wear casual whatever yeah. wear sweatpants whatever just because you well, know, we're having see the thing like with our band like uh i love how like our drummer wears like khakis and like a like a graph pencil kind of shirt you're not gonna find another drummer that wears anything different yeah like because it, you're a drummer you are doing work yeah like like, like he dresses because he's an it guy to school mm-hmm. black eyes with uh our singer mm-hmm. uh he's you know they both work together and then uh but and then I love how like uh, Max he uh, like he he's like our front man, but he's uh, he's got like the dad bod, and he's got like you know and, like he wears like he wears like the dad hat. But and, it works for the aesthetic that's there. Well, see, the, and the, yeah, then like and then we got like our uh, our drummer, and he wears like khakis and like New Balance, and he's got like a what's the gingham not not needlepoint gingham uh and graph point yeah i don't know what i say yeah, there's like a gingham kind of like button up shirts like the shorts New Balance. And, and then I'm like in like work boots and like a sports cap yeah, my sports cap <laughs> it's like what the fuck it's like it's like uh ashley told me the word for it uh and, and she said like it's how like my whole apartment set up it's sort of like nothing really goes together but, but when it's all put together like it works because there's just so much you're just like yeah yeah and, and like god damn she's right yeah god like uh, I, I i i wish i knew what that fucking word was and she's gonna listen to this like ah, i know what that is and i'm i'll, I'll remember it later but, but she was like yeah it's like None of it goes together in and of itself, like, but with you putting it together, like, it all works. Because this is all what you like. So yeah. it's, you know, this is your definition. It's a window this, this into my you. soul. <laughs> yeah, this, this is you. But, yeah. You uh, got the pinup calendar. You got the New York Giants baby tapestry. blanket or whatever. <laughs> you got a bunch of map drawing bullshit. You have an old box of old Milwaukee on your desk. I know. I love that which thing. Which is just ridiculous. Oh, um, speaking of maps. Uh, I because I know that occasionally put up up at open mic at Yamato, uh, they'll do like art showcases and stuff. I'm gonna because I'm I got two you that talk, I'm working yeah, on. Yeah, uh, well, one's done, one story. I'm I want to get five like fresh ones and I'm gonna bring them up there and like showcase them off. Maybe sell them. No more than forty dollars. 
because yeah, I, because yeah. I actually want to sell them, and I know the demographic that I'm selling them to. Yeah, yeah, you can, so. you can get you can get forty dollars out of them. Just don't do it like the past art shows out there. You know, I love I love when they did the art shows. You know, and they charge like three hundred dollars for like a watercolor, and I'm like, okay, dude, like I understand you got to pay bills, but that's fucking half my rent, man. Like that's that's more than listen, all of my listen. utilities combined. If if I could get paid three hundred dollars for one piece of music that I put out, mm-hmm. it'd be a great day. But we don't. Mm-hmm. You're on the bottom, and you got to make it before you can charge yeah. that. Now, if he was selling for twenty bucks, he probably would have sold everything. Sold. You know what I mean? It, and then he would have made seven hundred dollars for like fifty, twenty, like twenty for the bottom end, fifty for the mid end. You know, seventy five mm-hmm. for you know the top end. Yeah, I would have bought something that night. Yeah, yeah, like yeah, like uh, if he had like a like a. 10 by 12, like kind of squared off. Like, like he something. just had like prints. Yeah. And, and they were just selling for like 25 20 bucks. bucks. Yeah. 25 bucks. I would have bought them, but they don't, they don't see that. Like, you know, you got to make your prints. You got to scan those things, make your prints, make really mm-hmm. nice prints of it. You know, make copies, just make bullshit ones yeah. just because people feel like, Oh, I have an original or blah, blah, blah. blah. Yeah. Well, like in that same way, like my maps, cause they're all, they're always on canvas. None of them are on prints. And, uh, so they're all unique in their own regard. Yes. There's nothing special, you know, like there, there's not going to be another one. A lot they all look I mean, very I still similar. I should make some prints just because the, yeah, just to get that income out. We you know, cause there's a lot of broke motherfuckers out there that go out and don't spend money or don't have the stability to spend money. And yeah. They're smart about it and they don't. But but at any rate, uh I believe we're all out of time. Uh I have had two of these. Yeah, it's been two. Which yeah. is the equivalent of like four. <laughs> Back to this this beautiful moonshine. It's not as good as, you know, what you can find off from your moonshine dealer, which we need to do an episode with I don't even well, know anybody that makes moonshine. Oh well I got a boy. Yeah. He but this is guaranteed to not make you go blind. Um, it was like 35 bucks. Once again, it's at the Sugar Tit Moonshine Distillery in Sugar Tit, South Carolina. If you live out in that area, is you that check it out. Is actually the city's name? It's like the name of like where the zip code is. Like you mailed them a letter. Yeah. Uh, so White ch- people are trash. Yeah, check it out. I got one more thing from Sugar Tit we're going to hit. Um, I don't oh, know if we're going to do that on the next episode. We, no, we did that one. That was okay. one last thing I did. That was okay. the previous episode. Okay. I got one more, uh, but there's two other things I want to get taken care of. I don't know if they're all going to fall in order or not. Uh, Keith Mang, do you got anything uh, to say to the audience? Um, I want to let um, you know all of our listeners know. Um, you know, my name is um, Keith Williams. I don't care. I'm gonna put my name out there because I don't ever plan on running for office. And when I do, I'm probably gonna run off the same platform that I'm giving on this show because so I want to be honest and I don't give a fuck about anybody except myself. But I'm gonna <laughs> let you know that beforehand before I fuck you over. So at least I'm an honest individual. But no, I actually do care a lot about people. I want the world to be nice and sunshine. But um, uh, you can follow me on Facebook, uh, Keith Williams Music uh, on Facebook. You know, I can get caught up to date with shows and stuff. You know, his podcast and stuff. I'll post that occasionally when it pops up or whatever, when I find it or have the time. Um, uh, you should check out, you know, these, you know, Tyler Music Scene. We have a lot of, you know, really fantastic groups. We have a lot of fantastic artists out here. You know, just just go on Facebook, type in, you know, ETX Music. We do we do this whole weird, you know, music award ceremony every year that makes, you know, no sense to actually classically trained musicians. But you know what? You know, it's, it's a fun time. But, yeah, you know, just, just check it out. We're good people. You know, the South ain't all bad. Listen, listen to me. Listen to me. <laughs> all right. I, you know, I'm an African-American male. You know, I have a good time out here. But that's because in the South, you have to carry yourself like a man. Not big dick energy. You don't have to lift your truck. You don't have to do all that. Listen, I don't even have – I have I have a truck, and it's been in this shop for, like, pretty much a year. I have no vehicle. I've lived homeless, like, twice, you know. But guess what? Still get bitches because I carry myself out here, and that's how you have to do it in that's the all South. That's you got to do. It's all about confidence. It's all about confidence. So uh, have confidence. And it's still about money. I made money at the time, yeah. so I've always made money. Well, have confidence. Drink responsibly. Or drink irresponsibly at if home. you're home. At home. If you, you're home. Do your irresponsible drugs you responsibly. Want. Yeah. Don't that's do what they drugs. start teaching at school. Yeah. <laughs> have sex responsibly. Do your drugs responsibly. Yeah. Wear a condom. Both. Just wear a fucking condom. Just wear a fuck. I had a dream. I know. No, I had a dream. <laughs> I gotta. I gotta tell this story. I had a dream last night, and this shit was wild. I came home. I had eight kids. That's a nightmare, dude. But oh imagine my. the tax return. 
I spent three days in my mind in this dream. <laughs> three days with fucking eight kids all the way through. I went to work. I dropped them off at school and everything. Like, it was the most in-depth dream of my life. And I was like, is this is this maybe, God trying to yeah, tell so me said, something? Maybe God's trying to, like, tell you something. Like, I'm going abstinent. Like, I'm waiting till marriage now because there was, like, eight kids. And I'm like. And all of them look different. And I, the whole time I'm asking, who were, who was y'all's mama? Like, I don't care if it's the same woman or not. I need to know where the fuck my money is because you're all at my <laughs> place. Because they're going to they gonna charge me for child support. That's fucking, you know, you're a dude. You get charged for child support. That's how it works in America. Yeah. Even though, like, I want to keep my own kids. I want to raise my own kids. Even if I break up, I want the kids. But I'm not going to get them because I'm a male. Yeah. So. That's a bitch of the world we live in. Because I love, if it's mine, I love it. I love my siblings. I, you know, if it's my kid, I want to raise that motherfucker. But, right. but fuck all that. Fuck all that. It was just a wild dream. I had eight kids. Fuck having crazy dreams. Man. I don't have Even, any Like, kids. you wake up, it's like 1030 in the morning. Like, you're, you're, like, established at work. You still think about that shit? Yeah. I was just, I was just up, at work. Man. I was like, what the fuck is wrong with me? Hell no. Anyway, just, well, let's just keep getting drunk, play some Mario Kart. Yeah, that sounds about right. Fuck Mario Kart. In gaming, the gaming channel, Whiskey Dangent Gaming Channel is coming here pretty soon. Yeah, we're going to be it, topless the whole time. Well, y'all won't know because we're not using, I'm not putting my face on this bullshit that we say. When just I, our tank. When I, when I, yo, you fucking nigger. <laughs> when I get red shell, <laughs> you know. You know it's, it, oh, it, dude, split screen multiplayer is the best because you can tell them how much of a little bitch they are to their face. Yes, exactly. As you're just popping a sick gainer off of them. See, see. Uh, it's, okay, I gotta explain, like, just in case, like, you eventually get, like, a different kind of following that's not just, like, straight friend base, but it's, like, for our friend circle, we try to say the most outlandish garbage shit to each other just because we're all friends, like, it's, like... Because fuck you, that's we, why. Yeah, because fuck you. Like, you know, we, don't, <laughs> we don't care. We try to say the most disgusting shit to each other, and sometimes we go personal just to, just to do it. Just to do it. Just to do it, just because... It's like, it's like, oh, I did this, that, and the other. It's like... Yeah, but I saw you suck this dick last week. That's like, why you got your ass up. eaten out last night by that one bitch, yeah. you fucking dirty ass hoe. That Mexican bitch. Yeah. It's like, oh, oh, what are you talking about? Damn. Latina women underrated. And with that, we're going to sign off. Kenny got his ass out, ate out um, a couple days ago. Oh. Right, we can close it right there. Jesus. End it right there. End it right there. Bang.